This year, more than 100,000 Americans will be diagnosed with melanoma, the most serious form of skin cancer. But there is encouraging news tonight in the fight against skin cancer. CBS's Dr. John LaPook reports on a revolutionary way to screen for it. And you're gonna stand it here. The future of skin cancer screening has arrived with this odd-shaped machine. So these are all cameras here? Yes, yeah, so a total of 92 cameras. They all shoot essentially simultaneously. Then, within minutes, a software program builds a 3D image of the patient's body in precise detail. Before the pandemic, Dr. Alan Halpern of Memorial Sloan Kettering showed us how. They can zoom in and zoom out. This is Amy Arswaga. This is Amy Arswaga rendered in three dimensions. For as long as she can remember, she has had hundreds of moles over her entire body, putting her at increased risk for melanoma. Conventional screenings took hours. Not wearing my clothes for four hours. It just wasn't uh, too keen on going back. Yeah. According to a recent study, during the pandemic, fewer skin cancer screenings may have meant delays in the diagnosis and treatment of nearly 20,000 melanomas. What we're trying to do is bring some of the very smarts that are rapidly finding their way into what we do for entertainment into clinical care. Some of those smarts include a special handheld microscope to probe under the skin and provide images at the cellular level. Just upload three different photos. And Google is testing a home screening app using artificial intelligence that allows users to upload photos and research their own skin conditions. We're bottom line trying to leverage technology to help do a better job to catch melanoma at the earliest possible stage, while at the same time avoiding a lot of unnecessary biopsies. A huge leap forward in the fight against this deadly disease. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, New York.